Hey guys, on this video, we're looking at VEX25 index on the 24 hour chart, of which is the daily time frame. So, looking at the overall structures, we were pushing to the downside, as you can see. And then, what I'm currently looking at is this area here, of which we had this mass psychology activation. As you can see, this is the point where we had like the mass psychology activation. And then we have this point, and then we also have this point at the top of the structure so initially since we are at that mass psychology activation of which is this one here then we are looking for those selling opportunities from this point to this area here of which is the 90 percent so looking at the overall market structure we have the overall ascending channel as you can see around this point we have three touches and then at the bottom we have two touches of which we expect the market to clearly push to the downside, create the third touch, and then sell off and hit the 90%. So looking at the four hour time frame, So on the four hour time frame, we check for momentum most of the time. And then as you can see here, if I put like my analysis correctly, you'll we'll see that we have three touches very nice. And then at the top of the structure, we came in a form of structure. As you can see here, we created an ascending channel within an ascending, just like this. You can just do this. And then what I'll do is that I'll put the overall 90% for this mini ascending channel that we have inside here. And then I'll cater for the structures very nicely, just like this. And then what I'm expecting since, uh, uh, VEX instruments have like some type of movement whereby we don't have like tight, tight flags that we look forward to seeing most of the time. We look for those retests whereby we can expect a retest around this point is because we had like a few touches that were going on around here. So this is a sensitive area that we can use for us to get like those nice selling opportunities from there. But moving to the lower time frame, that is where we can confirm each and everything on the hour time frame. So let's look at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, the same scenario that I was talking about, as you can see, we have, we have like multiple touches going on around this point. And then looking at the top of the structure, we also had like some type of an ascending within an ascending of which it was a nice setup whereby this one, you take it on the break or you just use like the candlestick confirmation that I always talk about. As you can see here, we had this blue candle followed by a small blue candle and then followed by a red candle, a green candle, a black candle. And then this is an evening star whereby you can take your sell after the close of the candle and then the stop loss can be just above and then you target the lows for the overall target as you can see around this point. And then looking at the current market structure of which we are here, we had like some type of an ascending channel around this point, of which I don't like these type of setups, but they work out. As you can see here, it worked out pretty nicely. And then it had like an evening, it had an, an engulfing candlestick pattern, sorry about that. And then same scenario, guys, you take this out just below after the, that black candle has closed. And then it's a red candle, guys, man. Those who don't know, it's a red candle. And then you take your selling opportunities just like that. And then on this one, what I'll be expecting is for the market to clearly reject very nicely from this point here, from this point. As you can see, we're currently at that point to reject nicely. If it does not reject nicely, then we expect the market to reject from here. Then we sell off and then we hit the overall 90%. But initially, what I'll be looking for is a cell around this area here just because we have multiple touches from the left as you can see here if i can just put it from here then you'll see that we have like multiple touches and then if you use like those uh areas you can see that this is a break of structure this was a lower low and then we created a lower high around this point and then we have a lower low so we expect a lower high from this point and then we expect a lower low to push to the downside if you're using market structure and then this is the area where we look for those cells. And then we are targeting the lows, as you all know, this area 
up until the overall 90% of which is at the lows for about 55%. But I know that you won't get like the overall move at around 55% is because we are using like um uh, your uh trailing stops and all of that stuff. So that is it for uh your Vex 25 index. And then I hope you enjoyed this setup. I hope you're going to take great trades from this nice setup that I just shared with you. And then if you took like some knowledge from it, you can just drop it in the comment section so that some others can learn from what you took in this video. So I'll see you on another one.